Let's start with our web worker setup in a Next.js application. We create a function called worker setup using React's use ref hook to store a reference to our worker. We initialize the worker inside a use effect hook so it runs when the component mounts. Our worker is created by pointing to the respective worker JS file using a URL constructor with import meta URL. We set up two listeners on the worker, one for messages with our results and another to catch any errors. When our component unmounts, we terminate the worker to clean up resources. The run worker task function exposes a method to send data to the worker, triggering the processing task. Moving on to the worker JS file, which runs on a separate thread. We use the global self object to listen for messages from the main thread. When a message is received, we call the process data function which runs a data intensive task. For illustration, we simulate it by doing a huge number of additions. After computing the result, we send it back to the main thread using self post message. This worker script runs independently of the UI, allowing for parallel processing without UI interruptions. Finally, Let's look at how to incorporate the worker setup in our next JS application. In this example, we're at the homepage component. With use state, we keep track of the result returned by the worker. Using the run worker task method obtained from our worker setup, we trigger the web worker task within a use effect hook, ensuring this only happens on component mount. The result variable will be updated once the worker posts back the data. We then render out the result on the page to show the processed data, demonstrating how you can have non-blocking data processing in a Next.js app.